Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss an ACT math question. The link to this question has been given in the description of the video. The question is, a finite arithmetic sequence has 7 terms and the first term is 3 fourth. What is the difference between the mean and the median of the 7 terms? 5 answer options are given here. I will suggest you to pause the video and try to solve the problem by yourself. Hope by now you already have solved this problem and uh, chose the correct answer. Let us just now do it together. So we have 7 terms here. If we consider those 7 terms to be A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6 and A7. You can take any variable. I just took A. So they are in arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence or an arithmetic progression is a sequence of numbers where the difference between the two consecutive numbers if I consider this difference to be D, D for difference, you can take any variable. So the difference between any two consecutive numbers is constant or the same. So the difference between any two consecutive numbers is the same. Now what do we mean by difference? Difference is A2 minus A1, A3 minus A2 and so on. So we have been given that the first term of this sequence A1 is 3 fourth. We will have to find the difference between the mean and the median of these 7 terms. So we will have to find the mean and the median separately. And in order to know that, we will have to find the numbers. So the first number is 3 fourth. So what will be the second number? It will be 3 fourth plus d. Third will be 3 fourth plus 2d. The fourth will be 3 fourth plus 3d. The fifth number will be 3 fourth plus 4d. The sixth number will be 3 fourth plus 5d. And the seventh number will be 3 fourth plus 60. So just let me write that the A7 that means the last term or the seventh term in this sequence is 3 fourth plus 6d. Okay. Now we will have to find the mean. What is the mean? Mean is nothing but an arithmetic average. Mean is an arithmetic average. It can be written as the sum of all the numbers divided by the total numbers. So n is the total numbers and Sn means the sum of all of them. Now we can write Sn as n times a1 the first term plus the last term which is a n divided by 2. We can write Sn as this and in order to find the mean we will have to divide it again by n. So n is the total numbers, a1 is the first term, n is the last term in the sequence. We are taking the you know average of this and then we are dividing it by n. So you can see that n and n cancels out and we are left with a1 plus a n by 2. What is our a1? Our a1 is 3 fourth. What is our a n? a n means the a seventh term. We already figured it out. So it is 3 fourth plus 60 and that should be divided by 2. Right. So <clears throat> let me just give a bracket just in order to separate these numbers. So this the first number one is a 1 and the second one is the a 7 we uh, see that 3 is a GCF of this all this together so we can just factor 3 out so if we do that it becomes 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 2 D divided by 2 so further we get 3 2 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is 2 fourth plus 2 D by 2 and again we can just factor this 2 out so it will be 3 times 2 so it will be 1 fourth plus d divided by 2 right so what we got is the mean is 3 fourth this is the mean the mean is 3 fourth plus 3d. I just expanded it. So 3 fourth plus 3d is the mean. Now let us just find out the median. In order to find out the median, we will have to see if this is an um, odd number or an even number. 
how many numbers we have we have seven numbers seven is an odd number so in that case median is just the middle number so what is the middle number here so three numbers on the left three numbers on the right so a4 is the middle number or a4 is the median so what is a4 so a1 was 3 fourth a2 is 3 fourth plus d 3 fourth plus 2d and this is 3 4 plus 3d so our median is a4 a4 is 3 fourth plus 3d it is actually the if you if you have a lot of numbers it's a very sh it, there is a shortcut that it's like you know the first term plus in minus 1 into d okay you can find any numbers in that way so a1 3 fourth plus in minus 1 so in this case it is 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 is 3 and times d so this is just a shortcut so we uh, figured out our median which is 3 fourth plus 3d now let's see this is the median and what is the mean wow the mean is also 3 fourth plus 3d so it's the same 3 fourth plus 3d so what will be the difference between the mean and the median so mean minus median mean is 3 fourth plus 3d the median is 3 fourth plus 3d that means the same number so the difference will be 0 so actually this is our answer so let me just uh, see which one is the correct answer here wow the first one a a is the correct answer so the difference between the mean and the median of these seven terms is nothing but 0 so thank you all for watching my video please like my video and subscribe to my youtube channel circle research and education where i post videos on test prep math from psat sat and ACT test prep questions i also post ap chemistry and biology questions as well as dashboard analysis shukran jazilan next see you in the next video then happy learning